G'day guys, Aaron here from Shooting Stuff Australia and it's back and it feels so good to have this in my hands once again. This is the Berica 12 gauge shotgun. It's a straight pull and it has been all redesigned. So we'll go over the bit of the history of this and what happened to it and why. But just before that, can you please hit the subscribe button and like this video and you can find us on Instagram and Facebook and I've got to do it to bring out the digging tin if you can afford a couple of bucks a month please subscribe to my patreon account every cent helps it really does help to make these videos so this gun was released earlier in the year and then border force didn't like it they reckon it had a lot of AR-15 features on it and it was just too scary for them so they just didn't want us to have it so the importer did not want to see these guns as severe. He'd been working on this project for an extremely long time. He also did not want to see the 50 guns that were in the hands of legal firearms owners lose them and everybody else who had laid orders for the shipments coming in. So he negotiated a deal with Border Force. It took a long time and a lot of money in excess of $30,000 he has spent just to get these up and running. So where were the shooting organisations and the fake pro-gun political parties? They were nowhere, nowhere to be found. They were dead quiet. Not one of them had the decency to contact the importer and ask if he needed any help, if he needed any advice, if he needed a lawyer or anything. Absolutely nothing. They were totally quiet on this proposed gun ban and confiscation. Totally quiet. Once again, our organisations have done nothing when it came to a gun ban. Nothing. It shows yet again how completely worthless these fake pro-gun political parties are and these completely useless organisations. So what they changed was this magwell. It was flared and it had a few cutouts in it. So they didn't like that at all, so they just had to get it squared off. But I've even made it better. This is now all CNC aluminium and it is built like a brick shit house. It is solid. The other one was all plastic lower. So this was a great modification in my eyes. It's just made the gun a lot more sturdier. Also, they didn't like the lever switch here because it came off like an AR-15 look, but they just didn't like that. So now the safety is behind the trigger here. And also they didn't like the trigger guard joined to the magwell for some reason. I just don't know why. But what has been improved by separating them is now you can pop these pins out and now it comes out for easy maintenance and cleaning. So I do like this and easy to work on. So it's pretty easy to go back in. You just got to locate where the pins are and there we have it, all good to go. So it also comes with the Picatinny rail of course and the flip up sights. The cheek riser is adjustable but the stock is not adjustable so you can have this in New South Wales which is good to see. And also of course you get the big meaty muzzle brake, sort of like a door breaching muzzle brake. But I can tell you what from the last review that does help with recoil, it cuts it right down. And it ships with two five round magazines. Now these magazines are extremely durable and they're reliable. Unlike some of the other brands out there, they have had trouble with their magazines. They are coming out with 10 rounders and those 10 rounders are gonna be able to work in other brands of guns. Also when I reviewed it last time, this was one of the only shotguns, straight pull shotguns that I have reviewed that did not have any major problems whatsoever. This fed everything and worked fine on the first time round. So I really hope this is going to work just as well as the last one. I shouldn't see why not because the whole upper is left totally the same. It's just been the bottom part here redesigned. Another thing I do like now is ambidextrous. Just pull that out, swap it out to the other side and you're good to go. I know it's been a long wait guys and it's finally over. They are actually here. So the first 50 will be coming out this week and then the 
rest will be flowing in every month. So we'll be running the Black Hawk ammunition in this review, the slugs and the field loads. I think there's um, nine pallets and some 27 pallets. So let's just get outside and shoot some stuff up. I know that's what you guys want to see. Okay guys, we just got the old car door here that we were using on the first Berica video before it got modified. So we'll just try another group test at 25 meters and just pop a couple of fire extinguishers off afterwards. Beautiful. You've got to really treat this a bit mean. I was being a bit uh, wimpish and not dropping the hammer too hard. So you just got to let go and it'll go in straight away. So if you sort of baby it, it's not going to really work. You've got to pull it back and drop it and you won't have a problem. I had no problem with the slug when I was doing that and uh, tried it out just trying to be a bit kinder to it and it didn't uh, exactly work. So, just like that, drop it down, a lot better. Hey guys, I'd just like to start off by saying thank you to Extreme Outdoor Sports for making this video possible, for lending me this Berica and also supplying me Black Hawk ammunition. I have used ammunition in the past in several other guns and it does work really well. So this gun did not let me down again. It worked really well. The only problem I had was when I limp wristed it a couple of times, just did not pull it back and snap it shut. With the straight pulls, you really do have to do this. You can't baby it. You just gotta rack it back and drop the hammer. So I did do that a couple of times, but that really was the only problem I had. I didn't have any ejection problems and I shot a lot out of this gun. So once again, it just felt really nice, came up to me nice, everything's the right size for my bigger hands, uh, the length of pull is good, it doesn't even have to be an adjustable stock for me, because it just felt so nice. Cheek rise is good, and like the last time, I didn't need to adjust it with these iron sights, it was lined up perfectly. 
it just feels so nice it really does very smooth running and this gun has had over a thousand rounds through it without being cleaned so far the owner took it out hunting uh, about a week ago and he uh, absolutely put it through the ringer and I forgot to clean it before I did the review but it still worked really well uh, once again the mags are good these are good solid mags and they are going to be working with a couple other brands of guns as well the 10 rounders will be really good to see because five rounds in a shotgun goes pretty fast so I know they changed a few of the cosmetic features on this well they had to for border force but I do think they've made a better gun it is more solid and it feels more solid the lower being all CNC aluminium I really do think this gun is worth the wait guys I do think it's probably the best straight pull out there that I've used and I've reviewed a lot of them and I've got to give it to the importer he did not take this band lying down so this is one gun I really would recommend it is built extremely strong and it could take the knocks I really do like it and with the trigger assembly being able to come out and clean it I do find that a bonus uh, being ambidextrous for us lefties is a good thing as well if you're after a straight pull shotgun I do think you should take a look at one of these barricades they do have two fed guns as well which are really well made and they're just a step above some of the cheaper ones so thanks again guys for watching hit that subscribe button and see you on the next video